Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 of our historical dive into Hamilton. Today I am joined by none other than Jacob. Hello! As you can see, we've changed the show a little bit to hopefully make it more entertaining for you guys. So instead of just my annoying voice, you get both of our annoying voices. And faces. Today, we will be picking up right where we left off last time, talking about Aaron Burr, sir. This is a super important song, seeing as it introduces four major characters in the first act, including Aaron Burr. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what is presented within the song. Song Synopsis! The song starts off by telling us a time and a place. How kind. New York, 1776, where we see Alexander approach Aaron Burr. We're given a brief introduction to the character of Aaron Burr. We learned that he graduated Princeton within two years. This inspired Hamilton to attempt, attempt to do the same thing. But instead he ends up punching a bursar. Oops. Aaron Burr tells Alexander Hamilton that he was in fact an orphan, and that his parents' dying wish was for him to get an accelerated course of study. We then get the line from Hamilton telling us that he wishes there was a war, basically showing us that he is just hungry to prove himself to the world. Burr's response to this is to invite Alexander Hamilton to get a drink, and then he gives him some advice. Talk less, smile more. And then comes the three revolutionaries, John Lawrence, Lafayette, Hercules Mulligan. What an awesome name. They all briefly introduce themselves. For example, Lawrence says that the red coats should all be afraid. Lafayette basically tells us that he's French and screw the king. And Mulligan lets us know that he is too busy making corsets to do anything else, including sex. This is <laughs> Their attention then turns to Burr. And they all ask him to drop some knowledge. Burr responds by telling them that they can go ahead and fight. He'll watch and see what happens. And the song ends with Hamilton kind of burning Burr, saying, if you don't stand for anything, what will you fall for? Well, that was the song. Let's see what history says. Historical synopsis. So the year is 1776. You got Alexander Hamilton in New York City. Now, Princeton College wasn't called Princeton at this point in history. It was actually the College of New Jersey. Princeton is a better known name, and it's the same college either way. And yes, Alexander Hamilton did try to receive an accelerated course of study from Princeton College, and was denied. However, both Aaron Burr and James Madison received accelerated studies from Princeton. But did he punch the bursar? So, there's no clear record, at least that I could find, of him having a physical confrontation with the bursar. So, unless Lin-Manuel Miranda has uh, access to a book that's smarter than Google, we'll say that it's unclear if that event ever happened. <laughs> Now, after being denied from Princeton, Alexander Hamilton attends King's College, now known as Columbia College, from 1774 to 1776 in New York City. He studies mathematics, of all things, but also engages in politics, writing pamphlets encouraging and supporting the Continental Congress. Well, that's enough of Hamilton schooling. Let's take a look at Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr enrolled in the College of New Jersey in 1769. He graduated two years later in 1771. After college, he went to Litchfield Law School to study law. When the revolution eventually started to break out, he quickly joined and he ended up serving in New York 
under General Washington himself as a major. So, when did the two first cross paths? Well, all I could really find was that they bumped into each other on and off throughout the course of the Revolutionary War. However, Hamilton had heard of Burr being the prodigy of Princeton College before even coming to America. So the fact that Burr inspired Hamilton to seek the accelerated course of study at Princeton College is an accurate statement. What about the other men? Did they all know each other like they did in Besson? Well, simply put, no. There's no real evidence to support that that we found. Uh, Lafayette and Lawrence did encounter Hamilton multiple times throughout the war, but there's not really any mention of Mulligan being friends with everybody. The only one that really grew close to Hamilton was John Lawrence, and we'll get into that later. Basically, the scene within this song is a fictionalized moment meant to introduce us to three, four really inspirational characters of the Revolutionary War, which is fair. John Lawrence, Lafayette, and Hercules Mulligan were in reality badasses. So using them to kind of represent the revolution was a correct decision and entertaining as hell. Although it does present a lot of true background on these characters. Well, that's about all we have for Aaron Burr, sir. Don't worry, we'll talk about the other men in the next song, My Shot. If you want to see more, please like and subscribe. Also, if you want to learn more about any of the historical moments we've discussed, uh, the links for the sites that I got my information are in the description below. There's a lot of information in those sources, and it's all really interesting. Also, we are being held hostage by a frog. Is his name Alexander Hamilton? Nope, it's Alexander Hoppleton. Fantastic. All right. Alexander Hoppleton! That's all for this time. Have fun. Make friends. Stranger danger. And faces.